Amendment came to scratch penny. Mr. Speaker, then there's the other two and a half billion dollars. According to today's Toronto Star, the government spent two and a half billion dollars over the past two decades on consulting contracts. Yet no details on 90% of these contracts has been made public. This is a black hole of accountability, Mr. Speaker. Treasury Board guidelines specify departments are pro proactively to publish information on contracts and are encouraged to provide a brief description of each contract so the public may benefit. Even their own weak guidelines are being infringed. What happened to their promise, transparency and accountability? Uh, the Honourable President of the Treasury Board. Speaker, of course, uh, our government has a responsibility to uh, ensure that uh, taxpayer dollars are used as efficiently as possible. In some cases, that does mean that go uh, government does contract out, for instance, uh, uh, First Nation uh, nurses uh, in First Nation uh, communities, uh, for instance, experts uh, uh, who uh, in that particular field uh, are contracted out, and I think that's, the, that's exactly the right thing to do. Uh, we do have, uh, we did take steps, as the Honourable mem Member mentioned, to ensure there was greater transparency. She has cited uh, uh, a particular report that indicates that not all departments uh, took that up, and I, I'd, endeavor to, uh, I'd endeavor to ensure that that uh, is looked into, Mr. Speaker. I want to have an update of Pontiac. Honourable Member for Pontiac. We're talking about $2.4 billion in contracts without expenditure reports. Uh, is this healthy management of taxpayers' money, Mr. Speaker? Here is another troubling example. A contract for over $600,000 was given to a numbered company located at a residence. The number, the phone number, is no longer working. Reports are done in barely 10% of the cases. And of that number, 60% were given without a competition. Mr. Speaker, when will the Conservatives clean up the management of uh, granting of public works contracts. Mr. Speaker, we have the responsibility of using taxpayers' money in the most efficient way possible. In some cases, the government uh, it has contracts with the private sector, for example, for First Nations communities uh, in rural regions, nurses, for example. However, there is a responsibility for a government to have measures to, to ensure greater transparency, and perhaps I can find other means to ensure that transparency. The Honourable Member for Timmy James Bay. Speaker, we're 